In the past, most web developers used to handle dark mode in CSS by manually adding class to identify the dark mode to the body, then proceed to declare dark mode color scheme on it. It is easy to understand and it works. However, the catch is you need to declare the variable twice for each mode, which could increase the size of CSS if you have lots of variables. But with the latest CSS browser support update, there is an easier and cleaner way to handle this. In this video, we are replacing that old method with light dark, the one line solution that automatically respects your user's system settings and easier to maintain. Let's check it out. So here is the example page for this tutorial. A simple landing page with dark mode toggle switch. The current CSS is using the old method of switching dark mode. You see the default color variables declared under the root block, and then another set for dark mode to override them when dark class is added to the body. But with the light dark function, we can do it this way. First, we tell the browser that this page support both light and dark color scheme using color scheme property. Then, instead of declaring the color for each mode separately, we can put them together like so. Now, the color of each mode of the same element will be in the same place. You don't have to scroll up and down anymore. And here is the CSS code before and after. Additionally, with light dark function, even without JavaScript, the website color scheme will be automatically changed to match the user system setting. For example, if I change my Windows color setting to dark mode, then the CSS will also pick the dark color scheme. No need for preferred color scheme media query anymore. Now as for JavaScript for manually switching the mode, instead of adding class, you can just change the color scheme of the root element like so. The important note here is, since CSS light dark function automatically changed the color scheme to match the system setting, if you have the toggle button for users to select the mode manually, then you might want to disable this feature, or else it could cause the state mismatch between the toggle button and the color scheme. To disable the auto dark mode change, initialize the color scheme value to the starting value of your website. In this case, it's light. Finally, to enhance user experience even further, you can also save the user mode setting to browser local storage, so they don't have to toggle it every time they revisit your website. Then when loading the page, we'll see if there is any color scheme saved in local storage. If there is, then we'll turn on the dark mode and update the toggle button state accordingly. As you can see, now the color scheme will be saved in the browser local storage, and when we reload the page, it will still keep the user's color setting. And that's all for this tutorial. If you love this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.